This is Andy Pearl for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm delighted to be by Jamar Herring. Jamar, I'd appreciate it today, and you've probably got better things to do with your time, like pack for your flight tomorrow. But I appreciate your time. Um, yeah, we just witnessed Vasil Lomachenko with a dominant victory against Richard Comey. What did you make of the fight and his performance? Um, what, we th what I thought was what happened. I mean, I'm not anything against Richard Comey, but you know, Lomachenko is just, you know, a phenomenal fighter and a, and a guy on a different level. You know what I mean? What did you make as a round of progression? He seemed competitive to begin with, but then Loma just became Loma. Yeah, I mean, the first, the first two rounds, because, you know, I was calling the fight with my um, partner, Christina Poncher, and, like, the first two rounds, I thought we was going to have, like, a, um, a, a firefight, but then, you know, Lomachenko, being Lomachenko, he picked it up, and that ring IQ kicked in, and it was, it was just a completely different fight in round three on, onward. I want to get your thoughts on Loma kind of shouting towards Richard's corner to, to pull him out after he dropped him and he started to put the pressure on him. Didn't want to finish him himself. What's your take on that? Because Tim Bradley said to me he showed weakness. Um, some people will take it as, you know, being compassionate. You know, compassion. Some take it as being arrogant. You know, when, when you're, you know, at the end of the game, at the end of the day, you know, we're fighters, it's the fight game and we know what we sign up for. So, you know, of course, you know, they, they was looking, they was probably looking at them like, it'll look bad on Comey's corner to, you know, listen to what the fighter, the, you know, the opponent was telling them what to do. So I can understand what, um, why they, they just ignored it and kept, you know, Comey in the fight. Was there ever a point, Jamal, you thought maybe Richard should have been pulled out by his corner? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, the fact that he kept throwing back at times, even though he was getting hit with some heavy shots, he kept, he kept fighting back. So, you know, that, that was the reason why maybe the referee didn't jump in and stop the fight. The version of Lomachenko we saw today, Jamal, how much did he impress you? And where does he rank now against the rest of the lightweight division? Um, I think he's, he's in, terms of, in terms of contenders, he's definitely in the top. He's definitely the top, top dog, you know, for any of those belts. I mean, obviously, George can both hold the majority of those belts, but, like, he's easily um, can, you know, she should be able to get a fight with either um, Haney, or can boast his next. I mean, we still we still would like to see him fight even Javante Davis, but um, Lomachenko is, is best, basically one of, still one of the best fighters in the division, even without a belt. When you watch him tonight, Jamal, last year the other day, you never know one day you might face him. You never know. You never know, man. Like I said, man, this is bo it's boxing. You always want to, well, real fighters want to, want to test it themselves. But like for me, at the end of the day, I have, to, I have to earn that right. You know what I mean? I have to get back into the win column and, and you know, build back up. But I mean, yeah, for me, I look at everybody as, you know, as a potential opponent, but you know what I'm saying? Lomachenko's a real good friend of mine. I, I just finished talking to him when he, when he walked in, and I'm just happy to see, you know, he, he's getting back to where he wants to be and where he belongs. So, much respect, much respect and credit to Lomachenko, and I hope, you know, I hope he does get maybe the Camp Bosa fight. You know, he said he'll go to Australia to fight him, so make it happen. Well, Jamal, leave that then. I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your evening and get ready to head home. I appreciate your time this week. Enjoy the festive period. And thank you for speaking to me at Boxing Social. Thank you, man. Appreciate you guys.